at bat for Lamont after the All-Star break. Left on, almost like he was trying to ground that one through the left side. But Sawinski in center and Henry Davis the first pick in right in the infield. You got Jerry. So now Jock Peterson. Jock takes a strike. Generous strike call there. For a little bit rare to get an outside call. Mm. Lefties and righties pretty equal, but a little bit more expansive on right-handed hitter. Pittsburgh 0-2. Jock takes that one just a bit high at 90. Last night against the lefty Rich Hill. First, Carlos Santana catches for two down. He's getting ready in that dugout. It is a muggy night. J.D. Davis took a big cut at that first pitch. Of all Giants pitchers, Alex is a creature of habit. He was just telling very locked in preparation. He is very detail oriented. For nearly professional at everything he does. Davis stays alive. What was it? I read you read the Cal role model. One two and another foul ball. Was he consistent? Cal was down. Another one two and another foul ball. Oh, Davis fell down. Hopefully he's all right. Marcano going to be a tough one. I think it's the, a little bit of a wet field. Just Slipperuski and uh, that. Keen home runs as the leadoff hitter Brian Reynolds Santana G man feature with the long ball so has got a lot of power he takes strike one and one this is with the splitter there Marcus Stroman get more grounders than Alex Cobb tries that curveball there and mirror Jim to use those breaking balls maybe a little earlier in starts and we've seen sometimes from Cobb that was pretty Pretty good. Still a young player, right down the middle. Strike two. Takes that one. Strike three. Call. Good job by Cobb after falling behind in the count to come back and get Sawinski. That one. Nine home runs, 42 batted in for Reynolds. It's two and zero. Oh. Sinker and it did not come back to the corner. Pirates being really patient against him. There's a strike. He does. He has it. You were talking about his routine to get ready for a game. It's possible. 3 2. Reynolds fouls it away. 100% effort. Got a nice read, a good jump, and made it look easy. In the outfield from left to right, you got Blake Sable and left tonight. Mikey Scrim. Defender. And Patrick Bailey has sure been that. Little Santana. Was the first pitch go out a guy trying to steal against you that doesn't happen all that often it's like it's like when you know oh two that just missed and his base running Giants last night we'll see if they can do it again tonight it could be a toy they had excellent jumps all night and it changed the game good pitch from tips and good jumps that went off the inside did he go Two. It's ball four. Really incredible. There's a strike and it's evenly distributed, Hunter. Yeah, there's there's a lot of tangible things, but there's so many intangibles as well. Just the slow heartbeat. The home run against Ross Stripling. Oh, two in the dirt. A good block there, but the one two. Strike three call. Got the high strike that time with Burke for it, but he retires the side without a run. We go to the second. Michael Conforto continues the pattern for Giants hitters. They are, you know, all star break beard. He, did. Right. he had a good first pitch cut in the dirt, one and two. Some of the Giants, no, Michael Conforto's got a big root down the first baseline. We'll see if we can find uh, Michael on tonight. Yeah, that's always fun. You, you definitely feel that when when th big physical guy in the batter's box. And he's worked to count full three and two. He wouldn't want to be the wall. Strikes out swinging though on this slider. It was a good one. It's home games. Yastrzemski, he goes after the first pitch, and that was not the one. No. Just, just strike one. Yes, that was just a perfect slider. It's 0 and 2. 0 2. If you get through this road trip, then it's almost like, okay, now. Yeah. Is gone! Towering home. There's no doubt about that. Oviedo doesn't give up a ton of home runs. There's the fastball. If the first pitch was that. Good for Mike. He did not start last night's game against the lefty.
Patrick Bailey behind in the count 0 1. Now it's 0 and 2. And he earned it. I mean, he got down 0 2. He presents a few challenges for the play by play broadcaster. Bailey chases that one, but Clark. Blake Sable. It's a big series for Blake. He didn't play organization. He knows a lot of guys who are on the field playing against him. The third baseman. Try to get your old team. Is that one foul? He's been a wildly successful. Minor shows he's going to be an offensive threat. We, we talked to Blake before the numbers and the second Gonzalez, another one of his pals. Alex Cobb back to first pitch of the inning in the game a couple of years ago. That's a 22 feet. Just his second major league home run. He's only been up for a few lot of power. Young player also does a lot of that. He will swing and miss. It's only two. Didn't hit a home run against him, but first pitch he saw from Tyler in his career. Hard hit ground bush you that can happen. Dallas took that one low the curveball. That strike three call Gonzalez was starting to know the shortstop left handed hitter. He takes the curveball Cobb loves he got another good read just gliding over two down for the Pirates. There is a lot going on that weekend and it's going to be a fun weekend the Red Sox here's. They haven't been to San Francisco all that often. Oh, and two. And and in throwing the ball where he wants to. That one had that sinker. One, two. Triolo managed to take the slider to Jastrzemski and Henry Davis. Again, trying to catch that corner with that sinker move. Three, two pitch. He got it that time. Strike three. Favorites. Plus, you wear shirts that promote <laughs> what you're up to. I mean, that's I, I'm impressed by that. I don't Part of the Giants Pirates final game of the series. Breakfast and, breakfast and baseball. Bagels and baseball. Nine of the count 0-2 oh, out to Jack Sawinski for the first. It's been pretty great this year because they've been so exciting. You and Hunter would get along. Hunter loves to dig information about what's working for a pitcher, how his pitchers are moving. We love the, I mean, Montway Jr. and J.D. Davis and Mike Jastrzemski, who's had some success in the past. We're like, oh. Me too, I get riddled. I'm like, this pitch is moving so far. Why is everybody hitting it? And it begs a lot of questions, but it does. Earth, like all of you players are. It strikes me. It's like you guys are the ultimate team players because you have to work with. He wants to do it, too. And he said, he said to me, Hunter, he goes, I looked at my, you only need one or two of those months. But uh, he, all you guys simplify the game. Oh, wait, not real happy with so some early morning starts coming up in the next week for the Giants. Austin Hedges behind in the count in the morning. J.D. Davis on the move. Nice play. While you're listening to the Giants or watching the Giants. But we got such an overwhelming number of. On one to Sawinski. He hits a foul off his foot. Gave him a smile. Wall and he leaps and makes a catch. Big wall. What a play. Really well done. Ball one to Brian Reynolds. Park and Cobb said it kind of spooked me a little bit. I'm thinking this guy's trying to hit one 500 flex. Take it low, the splitter, and it's the dough ball. Got the win. That's ball four. So, uh, Cobb, for whatever reason, he was to keep it that way from the windup and to Brett Wisely. And once again, Alex Cobb works around.